Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to the episode of our legendary Huang Shao campaign. This is episode 29. We pick it up from turn 105 in the summer season of 211. So, uh, we are inches away from finishing the game. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the final episode. We just need to take uh, the capital city here of Changsha, the last emperor seat to secure our victory, because uh, we'll get to 95 uh, counties before then. The Wu army is trying to relocate uh, to answer our threat, but as you can see, we outnumber them everywhere. So it's really not going to be a contest. Uh, we're going to speed things along here. No need to drag this out any longer. We have a few level up uh, in the army that's over here that we just took the Xingdu fishing port at the end of the last episode. Um, not much to get. The visor, this is a terrible general that we used early on and just stuck with him. Um, I think he can bring some healing for us. That'd be fine. And over here, they took the bulk of the uh, delegate damage. But that's fine. We'll add some melee damage to the Scholar Warriors. And uh, we'll get all our buildings done. These guys are fine. Everyone has moved. Fly through our buildings one more time. We could ignore these because um, it's just not going to be relevant anymore as we march to our, our victory. But I feel obligated to finish out these buildings. And this is a good time for you guys to think about which faction we should play next because it feels like we have a good solid month before the release of the new DLC. Now, I am going to be able to get early access so we can start early, but I don't mind running two Let's Plays at the same time because the official patch that will come with the DLC won't happen until the release date. So it won't affect any campaigns we start. Um, until the actual release date of the game, which should be somewhere around Lunar New Year's. Uh, and for this year, the Lunar New Year is actually a bit early, which is great. Uh, it's around January 25th. Uh, so we should see the DLC drop before then. And hopefully if I start a new campaign, I can pretty much wrap it up before then as well. Now it could be just that the Yellow Turban factions are quite easy to play uh, once you snowball out of the early game that we finish record speed. This is the fastest campaign I've played. Now let's end turn. Okay, this is the only thing that could set us back. Yuan Shu declaring war on us behind our back. We have no armies in the back, um, but we could summon new ones to fight him. Uh, still gonna be a headache, but okay. All right, we got declare war by Yuan Shu. Um, I was saying, if he stayed friends with us all the way till the end, he can live and tell his grandkids how uh, things change after the old turbans. But he sucked it up and declared war on us right before we were about to win. Um, what do we want? character experience probably we're not gonna hit a thousand percent to make these one turn just too far away we could have spammed garden buildings but we never really went that route pretty happy with where the reform scroll went where's the okay here's the level up he's a writer not suited for the I mean not terrible for the battlefield but just not that suited We'll just aim for passive bonuses on him. All right, so before we continue destroying Sun Ce's armies, we need to think about what to do about Yuan Shu. He has an army. Most of his army is out here. He's been taking Xihe away from Gongdu, so he's been fighting Gongdu. And the territories that we have under threat that we absolutely cannot lose is the capital here. If we lose the capital, then we can't win. We don't have to destroy him. We can just make sure we don't lose to him. I'm going to summon the army here just to be safe. And that's it. I'm not going to worry about him after that. Uh, we do have our healer physician that we pulled back. Wait, how come I can't find her? She should have two cavalry. 
Also super high level. Ah, oh, there we go. She was in the beginning. Alright. And I guess it doesn't matter if we put a philosopher with her. It would have been better if it wasn't a philosopher, but... It's not the end of the world. Builder. We don't need a scholar in this army. We're gonna go double... We see a writer? Yeah, he might be good. Let's see. Let's check it out. Wise... Charge Reflect... Fire Arrows... It's not what we're looking for. But he's not terrible. And then the... the Philosopher here is also not terrible because we don't have to go that route. We can get Charging Speed. Actually, then why don't you guys get together? Yeah, you actually get along. And then we need one more healer. Let's see who's the highest level healer we have. That's a physician. There we go. Yes, he would work. If they get along. Not quite. Okay. We have other options. No need to worry. Let's look at who gets along first. Fortune Teller, she could lead the army. That's not bad. She has a uh, reach. Tolerant. Melee evasion is not bad. Yeah, why don't we use her, even though physicians are better for melee comps? Unless we can find a better one. Hmm. All right, never mind. Uh, she's gonna win. We're gonna. Is this the one we were looking at? It's multiple healers that could work. So hard. We have so many generals. Uh, she's healthy. Okay, she's actually pretty good. The line of sight is not gonna hurt us, and the cunning is not gonna hurt us because we're gonna do cavalry comp. Alright, so, wait, wait, why didn't we add her? No, it's not her. It's her. Yeah. Alright, she can lead. All right, full cavalry, full cavalry, full cavalry. We should have given them items first. It would have made things cheaper. That's okay. We're so rich. I'm not going to cancel it and redo it. Uh, we just need this. One person need to have that. And just some instinct, I guess. We don't need to get items from away from people. She's decked out. And... We'll just take this one. Alright, this army will defend Chang'an and we'll ignore Yuan Shu because we're going to just march to victory down here. Uh, we're going to head towards the weapon craftsman here. Uh, we could land here. Can we not land here? We can only cross up or here. Then never mind. Maybe we won't get it. I remember we could land here. I remember landing here, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah we could land here. Although there's an army waiting for us. That's not good. Uh, we're stronger than them, though. Yeah, if they want to fight us, they can. I don't think they'll beat us. 
Let's see if what happens. Um, that's a minor issue. Can we use the water route? It'd be much faster. There we go. Uh, we'll just delegate this. I think Wu has d miscalculated our approach because they landed their army to fight us but we are trying to cross into their territory we can catch them hmm I think if we go into the water we might be able to cut him off Let's stay here real quick, uh, and then use this army to start a fight with her. Yeah, let's do that. She's gonna retreat. We're gonna head towards him. We're gonna keep our debuffs here in the county to make sure they can't rep they can't get archers in fights I think we might be able to fight them no we can't we can't attack them like this had to land first well I think we just gonna go it's more important to go for the win He's going to have enough help, just in case they double team him. Mm, I don't want to be in the water. Alright, we'll just cross. Alright. This is simple. Zhao Yun's across. Alright, Huang Zhu is done. And the crossing's here. Sure, we'll take it from the crossing. Even though I think we can sail and land this turn. I'm not confident about this fight. Zhao Yun is still pretty scary. Alright, they need to replenish. They also need to replenish. That's so far. Okay. Uh, that's all our armies, I think. We could summon more. But I don't think we need to. Gongdu is going to help us do a lot of the fighting against them. We could launch an assault against them. We have our capital. This is the best place to recruit armies. We could pop out a full army here of just random new people. Or just whoever has the highest level already. So... Builders are nice. Do you have good traits? Feared. Okay, not that great. Potter, Jay Carver, another builder. Weak, not that great. Boer. Okay, we'll pick you. And then we'll see who you can get along with. Now, we can't be picky for veterans. I think we literally only have one or two veterans available who could even join him. Well, Philosopher is good. And then we would like a fortune teller. Vain? Yeah, Vain's not that good. Uh, musicians, okay. But I think we have plenty of fortune tellers and singers available. Not quite there. She's okay. 
She might be it. So maybe him? Minus experience. Oh, she has a lot of skills. Alright, we might just go with him. Yeah. We'll pop out a whole army here and we'll send them to attack Yuan Shu if needed. Oh, these new units. Hmm. Let's take two of these, two of these, and they get anti cavalry for us. Okay. So this army will attack in front. And I think we're good. I think we deployed everyone. I'm appreciative that. Yuan Shu decided to give us a little surprise at the end. So to make sure it's not too boring. Uh, they need assignments. Do we still have veterans for the assignments? Oh, there we go. We can rush this. And then build this. There we go. Uh, forge. Oh. Looks like you guys are missing so many things. There we go. Might as well. Alright, next turn. Alright, new turn. Uh, some more characters in the recruitment pool, but I think these are all people we dumped before. Yep, so we'll ignore that. We are 67 years old. We're still alive. We're literally two turns away from seeing our dream come true, so we're going to fly for it. We don't have the other Bruant officers debuffing. We need to get them across the river before next turn. That means we need to resolve this fight soon. Ah, oh, new officer. Coming to share our victory on the last turn. And 81 is a pretty good number. Ooh, got a foreman. It's actually quite good. Getting a little bit late though. It's fine. We don't have to use him. Mm, we don't need to help over there. But we don't need to help over here either. But, uh, but let's go, go help anyways. We can just ambush here. Drawing actually doesn't need to die. But he might as well. We can actually reach it. Now can we squeeze out? We might need to go to march. To squeeze into range. We just need to be in reinforcement range. We might come back to this fight. Kind of want to fight Zhao Yun on the field, although... I mean, who can duel him? I don't think we have any general that can actually duel him. So, yeah, we're just going to delegate this. Alright, easy win. 
we will take commerce. Finally, flaming shot. We'll cut to Changsha this way. They're done replenishing. Run ahead. It's no more. There's no more armies defending. Don't lose armies all here. He's encamped. She's okay. We attack her, force her to retreat, so they can't help each other. Then we'll force him to retreat. Oh, that was a bad move. We should have just killed her first. Now they can fight together. Who has night battle? He has night battle. Okay. We'll still pull this army closer. Ah, uh, this. Like th okay, like this. It's not close enough. How about this? There we go. All right, I want this army to be not fighting this fight. Sun Ren. I will fight her. All right, we loaded up in here. Um, there's no reinforcement by the enemy. They barely have a real army. Uh, the only thing I want to do is get a duel between her and one of our female generals. Maybe her, she's level 6, she can take the fight. We don't have a massive heal, so if she dies, she dies. Uh, she's legendary, so she can't actually like uh, die, so we don't have to worry about that part. Um, we're going to occupy her army with our range units. I am so confident that I'm not even going to worry about them being charged at. Because I think we have enough firepower to withstand that. If we can't, we can always... Um, Disorient them. We're just gonna run her out. We're gonna not use anyone else. Nope. She's he's not the one you want to duel. Are they not gonna charge? That... Alright, here's who you're gonna duel. And the only reason why we fought you. All right, girl on girl, let's go. You guys can just fire a will. We're not gonna micro. Woo! We have the mace, the dual mace. Strong trait. What sword does she have? Oh my god, you guys are mistreating her. She has a ceremonial sword. Wu is not that poor. Oh wow. We have thir we have faster attack speed because of this, despite using a slower weapon. Our attack's not that high. Hi there, we... 681, 210. It's just a bronze weapon. But hers is too pathetic. What happened to the army? Oh. Yeah. We just needed the crossbowmen and tribuches. We're still hitting the ones on the run. Oh wow. Okay, back to this duel. Hopefully she doesn't run away. She might lose all her morale seeing all her troops run. Wow, no mercy. Can we come watch? Wow, really no mercy. I think this is a reference to all the maids that she have with um, armor and weapon. 
that scared Liu Bei on their wedding night. Look, you got cheerleaders. Uh, none of them provide any buff, so it's, it's fine. She's still putting up quite a fight. Put some spirit into it. Why is he so hyped? Oh, we can interrupt duels. Wait, I have never seen that pop up before. I didn't know we can interrupt duels. But anyways, it's over. We had a fair girl-on-girl -girl fight. This might be the best fight we'll get out of the Kingdom of Wu. Honestly, she did so much damage. Well, we're gonna heal up when we fight again, but... Oh! Ooh, mace to the chest. Alright, nice win. Alright, we got the duel we wanted. We captured her. Uh, we've been killing everyone, so let's continue. Oh, he escaped. He can do that. How did he just escape like that? I think it's faster if we pop down and then pop out again. No, we can't. Well, he's stuck between six armies, so... Not a good place to be at. Alright, get into the water. And get into the right county, please. Alright, the party's all here. And who else did a move? Ah, this army. Liu Bell's done. His army even ran away. It's ridiculous. AI is just running scared. Alright, got ourselves another weapon craftsman. We'll just level it up to three. Our, our new armies. This one is not going anywhere. This one has one task. Defend the city. This one should be replenished by the time we get here. We're going to go after Yuan Shu, where it hurts his capital. And that's it, I think. We'll just build our buildings, and I think next turn's when it all ends. There's two assignments. I'm not going to bother with them. Actually, I want them here. <laughs> it's not going to be more turns, but still want to get this right. All right. Now you guys can build. I don't want this one. I don't want this one. I want the converted one. Pengcheng, Taiyuan, Forge. Uh, Grain Storage. They had a level one trade port. Seriously, what have they been doing? They've just been spending money claiming new territory. Small city. All right, that's it. Let's go. Whoa. Yuan Shu declares peace. Right after he declares war. Um, I mean, I want him to survive. 
I want him to tell our story to future generations. He doesn't have anything. Does he make money? He makes a little bit of money. Here, we'll save him five points so he likes us. It'll improve our relationship. There we go. Plus 93. All right. Liu Bell signed a peace treaty with the High Empire. We signed a peace treaty. Got a new reform. It doesn't really matter. Let's just clean up this one right here. Get the last unit that we didn't unlock. So Liu Bao had no guts. He didn't even come to suicide his army against us. So we're going to do him a favor. And just end him officially. That's Lady Tai. Okay, she's going to lose her head. Kingdom of Wu still... Wait, war declared between Kingdom of Wu and us? Why? That's strange. Oh, it's because it was a... Okay, I get it. It used to be an alliance war, but all members of the alliance have died. So now individually he's declaring war, even though it doesn't really change anything. He pulled his army back, but what what is it going to do against all this hate? We'll march every army to the edge of the border. Now, we're not going to actually fight this. I think we'll simply delegate this fight because we've seen enough slow sieges in this playthrough to last us a lifetime let's pop on land everyone everyone will get a piece of the action but Huang Shao is going to be the one to f deliver the wait 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 not this army this army ugh so it's like difficult to get everyone in position. All right, even you guys will get a piece of the action. All right, before we attack, let's wrap up everywhere else too. We'll grab that. We want everything. Oh, we lost. Well, we delegated a losing <laughs> battle. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. Okay. Fine, we won't be able to take the rice patty. We'll come relieve them. This is the really bad army. So it makes sense that they lost. We'll have them take it. We were we could have won it if we didn't turn on night battle. Night battle messed us up uh, even more because I think the way routing works, uh, we don't have a tribuchet here, so they actually can't take this fight until these guys get here. Oh no, the sieging army must have it. Uh, that's lame. Making mistakes on our last turn. There we go. It's assignment level up. Oh my god. Um, we'll get extra income. Alright, I think we used everyone. We finished off Liu Bell. We moved our armies around. Yuan Shu signed peace treaty with us. Yeah, we covered all our grounds. It's time to go. 67 year old. About to become Emperor China. Yellow sky share rule. So. We have more than this. But this is the max amount we can have. On a side. Uh, we're going to spare ourselves the pain of this slow siege. And just delegate this win. 
Brothers, we did it. Uh, both of you can live. We're in a good mood. Chu 天子之成天命,顺天而至,圣朝国作永言. And that's it. It's, it's really weird that they put a generic yellow turban here instead of your leader. Uh, let's look at some statistics. 72 battles. He's been busy since the beginning. 21 year Zhuge Nan, he was the potter that had the minus one construction turn that we put out very very early. Only 4 duels, this was the physician that was with us until we moved her into her own cavalry army. Uh, we didn't do very much because uh, most of the abilities were very good just buffing your allies and uh, you know against enemy units. Penshaw was the most talented warrior, 3.7k killed. 108 turns, it's probably the shortest campaign I played. Once the Yellow Turban Snowball get, picks up, this becomes so quick. And we actually utilized most of our economy and army count. Uh, we had a huge amount of army. We only recruited 28 officers, 5 died. Uh, we got a bunch from just uh, after the battle events. 35 duels, not that bad. 25 won, 10 lost. Most of these are auto-resolve duels, not the ones we triggered on ourselves. That's why there's 10 losing ones. Uh, we wouldn't have done 10 by ourselves. Um, ancillary items gained 220. 99 counties in the end. We lost 13 counties. Most of this back and forth when we were first moving south, we lost Guangling over and over again. And population 61 million, not that bad. We did level up most of our commanders at the end. 15 armies, quite a lot. We could have had more administrators. We could have got two more slots, but we never picked up that reform. 22 missions completed, 43. We executed 43 characters. 38 deals made by us, 466 initiated by others, or just other people in general. We didn't break any deals, we were very honorable till the end, and because of our alliance, we actually had very positive trustworthiness. Factions, 15 destroyed by us, most war at a time, 10. We traded away 37 ancillary, most of it's armor, and one of the one I'm most proud of is the eunuch to Tal Tal. We traded away two counties, that's also with Gongdu when we were shuffling land. And we gained 10 counties from trades. 19k payments received, so not that much, so it turns out you know, you're not going to get that much money from just diplomacy. Our economy is just booming. Highest ever expenditure. In a turn? No, that can't be right. That must be like, it might be in a turn. That's insane. Looting gets a lot of income. That's something that's even more relevant for Yellow Turbans. I guess if you play Gongdu as well, you get extra bonuses. Uh, but once you get that skill in the veteran tree that gives you 50% post battle loot, you actually make a lot of money from looting. No spying, not available for Yellow Turbans. Number of soldiers lost, number of soldiers killed. Aftermath. Alright. That was pretty good. On to a new campaign. Let me know in the comment section what you'd like to see. So, see y'all next time. Bye!